Hello there, Jerome here with a 5 minute advanced follow along flexibility routine. Set your timer on 20 seconds for the first exercise and then start with the quadriceps. Put your heels against your butt, lean backwards and push your hips forward because that will put the tension on your quadriceps. Keep your back in a neutral position so that it won't hurt and hold this for 20 seconds. After that you will go on to the next variation which I will show in a couple of seconds. So the next variation consists of putting your feet further apart and then doing the same exercise. So leaning backwards, don't, don't stretch in between your feet, but rather push your hips up because that will stretch your, hem, your quadriceps in different areas, in a different angle and that will help you to become more flexible. If you drop down your waist, then you will have some pain or at least it's not very good for your joints. So hold this for another 20 seconds and then go on to the last variation, which you can already guess is the narrow variation. Your knees are in the same distance, yes, but your feet are touching each other and that will give yet another angle for you to stretch in and of course you will also feel this in the quadriceps in a slightly different way. Now 20 seconds should be enough for you to feel the tension fade away. If not then you could choose, you could choose to do 40 seconds and double the routine so that you have 10 minutes per day of the workout. But hopefully this will already work for you. Put in 30 seconds for the next exercise or you could also choose to do 3 sets of 10 seconds I put in 35 so that you have some more time to transi transition in between the exercises and then squat down in one leg in the squat down position the other leg will be straight toes pointing upwards heels on the floor heel on the floor and keep your leg as straight as possible lean forward to put some more tension on the stretch and if you do three sets of 10 seconds then I recommend you to stretch a little bit further within each stretch now I do it in a complete set of 30 seconds and then I will have to try and reach forward a little bit further every 10 seconds or so which really doesn't matter that much as long as you try and increase the tension or the stretches in between the set that you do or the sets that you do. So another 30 seconds on the other side and as you can see I try to lean forward just a little bit more. It doesn't really matter much if your knee is pointing that way or if it's in the same direction as the leg that you are stretching as long as you focus on the leg that you are stretching. If you point your toes forward then you won't have much of a stretch because then your muscles are elonged anyways and so it won't be very effective. So keep your toes pointed upwards. The next hip stretch also consists of three, two sets of 30 seconds Go sit like this, so bend your front leg like so and keep your back leg straight. It doesn't really matter if you bend your leg like this, but it is easier for you to put some more tension if you keep it straight like this. Then push your body off of your leg, off of the front leg so that you can feel some more tension. And most important with any hip stretch is that you kind of rotate your pelvis backwards like so, so kind of hollow your back in this case and hold this for 30 seconds. Then the other side, which I will demonstrate from the front. It is a simple exercise, yet one of the more effective ones because you can really put some more tension on the stretch by pushing, your, pushing yourself up of your front leg. And that will be more effective than doing a regular lunge hip stretch where you only have the pelvis rotation that will allow you to put some more tension on your hips. So hold this one for another 30 seconds and try to increase the tension of the stretch every 10 seconds or so if you do a full, full half minute stretch. From this position you can immediately go on to the pigeon stretch which is the same as the hip stretch only this time you will lay on the front leg and this will help you to stretch your glutes. This is one of the better glute exercises and you can make it more difficult by putting this leg further forward and then try to touch your knee with your shoulder like so. So this is a pretty advanced exercise. It is often used in yoga and it is one of the more effective glute exercises to train your glute muscles. 
or actually to train the flexibility of your glute muscles. Next one is obviously the exercise on the other side. So do it like this and lean forward. Now you can feel this in different areas, but the area that is most targeted is are the glutes. Now glutes are often under, misunderstood or at least they aren't trained as much as they should be because especially with things like side splits, splits and front splits, they have a secondary effect on how well you are going to perform this. So this may actually be one of the problem areas with a lot of people if it comes to learning those two splits. Speaking of splits, the last exercise is the attempt for the split. So set your timer on three sets of 20 seconds. So actually set it on 20 seconds and go down into a split as far as you can. First of all, start with leaning forward like I'm doing now, resting your body weight on your, on your hands. Now, if you are actually as flexible and can do a front split, then you can go ahead and do so. Go away weights and then Make sure that you also stretch in different angles, starting with the front side, so leaning forward, on to the back leaning variation, in which I prefer to point my toes upwards towards the ceiling, then lean back, of course. If you can't do a full split, then obviously go down as far as you can, but keep in mind the rules of flexibility. It should never hurt, however, it can feel uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't feel much more uncomfortable than pinching your skin as hard as you can. So that is about the feeling that you should have. And end the workout with the middle split or at least an attempt to the middle split. So if you can't reach it, then you can support your body by holding one arm on the front and the other side, on the other one on the back, like this. And of course, if you can do a split, then do a split for that given amount of time and that will of course stretch your inner thighs properly. That's it for this video. Make sure to check out my flexibility playlist for all my flexibility videos to help you reach your goals of doing the side and the front split. Subscribe for more, thumbs up, and I will see you next time.